pretty. Just going back to that example model. So what was our second step? Our second step was to create these three shapes here. Now I've done this, if you look down the timeline, I've done this in two steps. I've done a sketch, which is, as the name suggests, it's like a 2D drawing. And then I was told that sketch to extrude up. So let's go back to our model. Now I said sketch, here's the sketch menu. Sketching is really important in Fusion, so make sure you know where that is. And we want to create sketch. And again, it's saying, where do you want that sketch? And I'm going to say this top plane here. And once I select that plane, I'm going to be working in the 2D. I want it a different orientation. So notice up here, I've got my navigation window. Take notice of this. If you can't use this, you'll find it very difficult to navigate around the screen. So, and I just think that's probably more the orientation I want to sketch in. And that first one was a square. So yeah, really handy to remember was is your navigation box up there. So the first one was a square. So let's take the rectangle. I'll just use the first feature there. And I'm just going to draw it anywhere. Now it's giving me some dimensions like it did with the box, but I'm not going to put them in yet. I'm just going to click and say, yes, that's, that's where I want it. And it's blue. And when a line is blue, it's saying it wants more information. So that was create sketch I used. Now it's time for sketch dimension. Very important to learn that feature. So I click on sketch dimension. Dimension means just, just measurement. Where do you want it? What measurement do you want to do? And I'm going to click twice. So I'm going to click there, click once. I'm going to just move my mouse down and go click twice. So how, how long do I want that line? I'm going to say 10 millimeters and that's changed. Okay, so let's do that again. Remember, it's it's tricky to learn the how to put the sketch onto the line, the dimension onto the line. So it's two clicks. I'll go one click. I'm just dragging out two clicks and let's make that 10 millimeters. Lines are still blue. It's asking for more information. We want those lines to turn black when they're happy. So it's saying, how far am I from this edge? So, okay, so let's tell it. So this time we're gonna click three times. So just count with me. One, two, three. And I'll just make it 10 again. Let's make all these dimensions similar. And so you notice these ones turn black. This line is happy. It's got all the information it needs, uh, but these ones are still blue. So let's click three times again. Count with me. One, two, three. And I'm just type in 10 millimeters. Excellent. So now we have our rectangle or a square in our sketch. Uh, the second one was, let's just have a look, was um, a circle. Okay. So let's just go back here and remember our sketch menu. So first we use rectangle. Now we're going to use circle. Let's just use the first one. Uh, and again, it's looking for a location on the screen. I'm going to say, yeah, that's about good enough. I'm just going to click. And we want that sketch dimension. We because it's blue. We don't want it blue. So click once, drag out, click twice, and let's keep the 10 millimeter thing going. Still blue. It wants to know where. Okay, so we, it knows how big the diameter is, but it doesn't know where it's meant to be in this screen. So I'm going to click the center. Click so click once, click twice. I'm just going to drag down to get my dimension off the screen a bit. Click a third time, uh, let's say 12.5. Yeah, that looks all right. Still blue. So it knows how far it is this way. It just needs to know some information this way. So three clicks again, count with me. One click, two click, and just click a third time. Um, how about 15 millimeters? And it's turned black, fantastic. Uh, okay, the last one was this triangle, so let's, sketch this triangle. Now we had a feature for the rectangle and the circle, but there's no feature for the triangle. So we're gonna to have to draw the triangle. So we're just gonna use it with the line tool. And I'm going to go click once, click twice, click again, and then make sure you just marry it all up at the end. Beautiful, still blue. So remember, sketch dimension, which is just measurements. And I'm going to start off this line here. So it's going to be two clicks, one click, two click, and let's keep 10. Uh, and I'll do this uh, line here. So one click, drag out, drag out as far as you want. Two clicks, about 10, and still blue. So 
one click. Drag it, drag it as far as you need to, just so it's off the screen and, and you can see it. Click again, 10, excellent. Now how far off this bottom line, so this will be three clicks, one click, two click, and I'm gonna go this side this time just to keep it, the drawing clean. Oh, let's make that 10. And this line's turned black, but uh, these ones wanna know how far they are from here, so. Uh, no, it's saying it can't do that one, so I'm just going to undo that. You can just uh, delete it like that. Uh, now, what's it want? So let's just go back to sketch dimension. So let's try from one click, two click. That's a bit better. And it's saying, how about I give that a value of 45 millimeters? And there we go. So there's our sketch. Everything's black, it's got all the information it needs. So to get, so remember we're in the sketch format now, we've got to go back to the modeling space. So if I'm happy with this sketch, I tell Fusion to stop sketch. So just down here, stop sketch. And I'm just gonna hit this little home feature here, which is a handy one. And there we go. So back to our original model. Um, so I've done the sketch, but you can see these ones have been extruded remember that term it's been extruded up a few millimeters and we're going to go to back to the create menu and extrude is pretty important so it's up the top and it says extrude so all extrude means is taking that 2d script sketch and moving it up in one direction so what does it want it's saying here what what profiles do you want to extrude so i want to extrude that profile that profile and that profile, you have to click in it. Um, I want, I'm want. i gonna grab this arrow and say, I want it to go up here, and it's saying how high, probably not 10. I'm gonna change that to five, and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna hit okay, and there we go. So um, we've got, um, so the two, two, if you look to the timeline, you've got three different tools that now you've now learned. It was the box to do your primitive shape at the, at the start, and then and then you've done your sketch on a 2D plane, and then you've done your extrusion. 